Hey everyone, my name is Kevin Waters. I'm here with Taylor Bent, and today we're going to be talking with Kyle Bridget, one half of a trailer project, the other half being Ed Beals. Uh, hi, Kyle. To get uh, started, would you mind introducing yourself with your name, pronouns, and where you're from? Oh, uh, uh, my name's Kyle Bridget. Uh, I use he, him, and uh, I live in Halifax. That's awesome. Awesome. So did you study anywhere for your art or are you self-taught? Um, I did go to NASCAD as a mature student. So I was like 30 when I went. So I'd already had, um, you know, 10, a little over 10 years of uh, experience as a professional artist before then. So uh, I guess mostly self-taught, but uh, then tempered. <laughs> at the yeah. end. <laughs> a little bit of both. Um, are you um, like originally from Nova Scotia? No, um, I'm originally from Brantford, Ontario. Nice. Uh, I moved here uh, 13, 14 years ago. So uh, what, what brought you to Nova Scotia? You know, I ask myself that every morning <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there actually isn't a good answer. Um, <laughs> I just, I wanted to get out. I want to go somewhere and everybody was going West. So I was yeah. like, no, I am a contrarian. I'm <laughs> going to go East. I'll go to Halifax and then I'll reassess uh, from there. And then I just never left. I just kind of kind of stuck around and now I have a, a family here. Um, yeah. uh, so uh, you're not getting rid of me. <laughs> Different, different than Tay and I. West is the only direction. <laughs> There's no more. <laughs> yeah, well, when you're in the middle, you know, more in the middle, you gotta, you got more directions to choose from. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can't yeah, just so. walk into the ocean. <laughs> you can walk into a great lake, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, could you tell us a bit about your practice? So, for example, what inspires your artwork, or what is your favorite thing to create? Okay, well, uh, my business card says cartoonist, illustrator, okay. and educator. Yep. Um, uh, I usually identify as a cartoonist. <laughs> um, I, uh, I make a lot of comics. Uh, I was in Mad Magazine for uh, a couple of years there, um, but did not really a magazine in the same sense anymore. Um, yeah. And I do illustration. Um, I have a book out right now that I illustrated, um, which I should have put it over here by my desk, but um, uh, with uh, Formac publishing the Nova Scotia quiz book, Ultimate Nova Scotia quiz book. Awesome. Um, and I do a lot of uh, art for uh, businesses around town, especially Good Robot Brewing Company in okay. uh, Halifax. So yep. if you see their they're doing delivery now. If you see their van driving around, I did that. Oh, cool. Okay. Fun. Um, oh, and uh, was, was there more to that question? I gave you my sort of beginning. Oh, I was there more about good. inspiration or something? <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, if, if anything inspires your artwork. Uh, cartoons, I think. <laughs> this is the main <laughs> thing. Cartoons and comics. Yeah. So, you know, when I paint, I paint cartoons. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, most of my work is, is comics and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So I'm, yeah, I'm sort of a, in the, between, I'm like, a like Canada council considers me a writer. Um, okay. So it's a weird middle, middle zone to be in. I like it. Cool. I'm <laughs> amusing <laughs> myself and others. <laughs> we, we get stray a little bit. What, what's your, what's your favorite comic then? My favorite comic? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what I would, how I would answer that. I really like, um, uh, like the Incal by uh, 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 Yodorowsky and Mobius. Um, that's probably the most uh, like awe inspiring thing. Uh, I mean, most dear to my heart is Mad Magazine. Mm -hmm. um, not because I was in it, but because uh, it was my first love, you know, I started reading it before I could read, you know, yeah. um, when I was like six or maybe even five is when I started 
reading Mad Magazine. So I guess that's really my first love. But uh, lately, in the last few years, I would say the Inkel was like the most profound thing I've read. That's great. Um, next one up. Uh, have you ever taught or have you ever thought about sharing knowledge with others? Have I ever taught? Um, yes. Uh, Prior to COVID, I was teaching very regularly uh, through NASCAD Extended Studies. Um, and I would teach uh, kids uh, as young as like five um, and adults. I would do evening classes for adults. Um, and I have classes on comics for all of those age groups. Um, uh, since COVID, um, I've been doing uh, not as much teaching. I was doing some some private teaching. Uh, most of that cleared up, but I have one um, one sort of uh, uh, protege right now. Uh, a teenager. His name is uh, Jack, and uh, he does a comic called Skippy and Elmer, um, which you can read on uh, Instagram uh, okay. at Skippy and Elmer, uh, and. Uh, uh, we just did an Indiegogo that he was successful for to print it as a book. So awesome. uh, I've been doing more one-on-one -on -one teaching since COVID hit. I hope to, I hope to get back into it. Oh, and I'm also teaching through uh, uh, Art Gallery Nova Scotia. Um, they have like an outreach program. So I've been doing some stuff with that. So yes, yes, yes. Lots of, lots of teaching. Um, yes, great. I love to check that out. Yeah. Cool. So let's switch to the trail art project as a topic. Um, what materials did you use for the project? Well, um, wood <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, uh, paper. We're a little bit uh, um, behind on being done yeah. because of COVID, uh, mm -hmm. COVID restrictions. Uh, yeah. My uh, uh, partner in the project uh, Ed Beals and I, we couldn't actually meet up <laughs> to work on it, but um, it's made of wood and, uh, you know, there's some metal holding it together and some PVC piping and uh, uh, like a vinyl sticker and uh, then like a gloss on that. I think that's all the materials. There's probably various varnishes and stuff as well. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so on that topic, could you tell us like your thought process when you were come up and coming up with this design? Yes, I saw the um, uh, the call out for this project yeah. of art on the trails, and I thought, how do we get comics outside? Let's do it. How how can we get comics outside? And um, my initial uh, idea was kind of like you know those old timey. Uh, alarm clocks where like half the number flips down and that's yeah. so you can mm -hmm. you can read the numbers i yeah. thought okay well what if these were like panels and mm -hmm. you could flip through it and we could put it on the trail i was really thinking along the lines of you know those uh plaques or whatever they get put up to uh yeah. share like some local history that my uh, father-in-law loves to read every one of <laughs> um and i thought i wonder if we can we can use comics in that somehow um, yeah. I'm not as uh, 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 tactile in making things. I don't make a lot of like physical forms. So yeah. I asked my friend Ed, who we have been making comics together for years mm -hmm. since um, uh, I used to run a comics jam here, which is like, it's a way for artists to get, get together and make comics together. Yeah. And uh, so I'm always looking for projects to rope him into and mm -hmm. I knew that he was interested in um in more constructed forms nowadays um he's sort of gone in a more uh 3d direction so I just pitched it to him and I said hey here's here's my idea can we do this and he sort of looked at it and thought oh well um, I don't know uh and we sort of threw back a couple different ideas um and ultimately we came up with uh the you know when you go to the park or whatever in the kids section they'll have like a frame and it's kind of i call it an exquisite corpse but you can change like the head and the body of yeah. an animal and you can turn it i thought okay well what if these were comic panels mm -hmm. and we could put together a comic and uh 
after that, then I just started looking at the region and uh, the sort of goal of the trail art project, which was to uh, sort of uh, like celebrate the history and, and get people engaged with, uh, with Chester County. Um, yeah. And so I just wrote comics to that effect. Awesome. I don't. I don't know if you if you'll have images of what <laughs> the project is. It's hard to describe. I keep trying to yeah. describe it to people, um, but it's pretty. It's pretty clear when you look at the model of it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. To, to whoever's uh, seeing this video, you'll be able to see it as of July thirty first, or in our Explore Life that just came out. There's uh, your there concept you designs in there as well. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and that's all the questions we had about. Kyle, but uh, just because Ed is away and he couldn't be here, I'll, I'll make you be his personal cheerleader for a bit. You wanna, <laughs> okay. You want to tell us a bit about where Ed's from, maybe his place of work, and uh, what he brought to the table for the project? Okay. Um, Ed is from parts unknown. Um, <laughs> I don't know. He is from Nova Scotia. I he's yeah. told me many many times where he's from, <laughs> but you know I. I tune him out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just, I don't remember exactly where he's from, but he's from Nova Scotia. And uh, his job is he's an artist. Um, he, he did design like more uh, traditional design and uh, stuff like that for years. He also um, was sort of like a, uh, uh, I don't know what you'd say, like a major player in the early, uh, like flash animation scene. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think he kind of made his bones doing that. Um, yeah. And uh, now he just kind of, you know, he has a family and he does projects. Uh, he's affiliated with Argyle Fine Art. Mm -hmm. And he actually makes a lot of uh, like ray guns, like sci-fi 1950s style uh, laser guns. Um, I don't know if they work, I can't afford them. But if you can <laughs> afford them, they're at, uh, are gone. It's not that they're expensive. I think they're very reasonably priced, but yeah. um, uh, they look pretty cool, and I assume they can do yeah. some considerable, considerable right. sci-fi damage. <laughs> oh. That's cool. Yeah, thank you. That's that's pretty much all we have for you today. So um, we just like to thank you for taking your time with us, and uh, hopefully we'll get these interviews out soon. Okay, great.